Now we go to uh, the next theory, with, which is on online collaborative learning by Harazim. The concurrence of both constructivist approaches to learning and the development of the internet has led to the development of a particular form of constructivist teaching originally called computer-mediated communication or network learning, but which has been developed into what Harazim now calls online collaborative learning theory. She describes OCL as a model of learning in which students are encouraged and supported to work together to create knowledge, to invent, to explore ways to innovate, and by so doing, to seek the conceptual knowledge needed to solve problems rather than recite what they think is the right answer. While OCL theory does encourage the learner to be active and engaged, this is not considered to be sufficient for learning or knowledge construction. In the OCL theory, the teacher plays a key role not as a fellow learner, but as the link to the knowledge community or state of the art in that discipline. Learning activity needs to be informed and guided by the norms of the discipline and the discourse process that emphasizes conceptual learning and uh, builds knowledge. Harazim emphasizes uh, the importance of three key phases of knowledge construction through discourse. First is idea genera uh, generating. This is literally brainstorming to collect the divergent thinking within a group. Idea organizing. This is where learners compare, analyze, and categorize different ideas previously generated, again, through discussion and argument. And then the third is intellectual convergence. The aim here is to reach a level of intellectual synthesis, understanding and consensus, including agreeing to disagree usually through the joint construction of some artifact or piece of work, such as an essay or assignment. OCL also has its roots from social constructivism, since students are encouraged to collaboratively solve problems through discourse and where the teacher plays the role of a facilitator as well as learning community member. This is a major aspect of OCL, but also of other constructivist theories where the, th uh, where the teacher is not necessarily separate and apart, but rather an active facilitator of knowledge building. Because the importance of the role uh, of the teacher, OCL um, is not easy to scale up. OCL is best situated in smaller um, instructional environments. The role of a teacher or instructor in this process is seen as critical, not only in facilitating the process and providing appropriate resources and learning activities that encourage this kind of learning, but also as a representative of a knowledge community or a subject domain in ensuring that the core concepts, practices, standards, and principles of the subject domain are fully integrated into the learning cycle. Um...